This is meteorologist Eric Hayden with the National Weather Service in Binghamton, New York. I want to bring you an update on the potential for strong winds today and also thunderstorms later tonight. We're still thinking the strongest winds will be across the Finger Lakes and central New York into the Catskills, and that's where we have a wind advisory in effect until 2 o'clock Thursday morning. Main impacts in terms of the strong winds will be from late this morning into the early evening. Gusts up to 35 miles per hour for everyone, but in that advisory area, that's where we think we could have some gusts between 45 and 55 miles per hour. Winds will die down a little bit this evening overall, but then we could see a line of thunderstorms, and that may bring a second round of strong winds to the area. This graphic shows peak wind gusts through tonight. Again, these are outside of thunderstorms, so just general wind gusts up to about 30, 35 miles per hour for everybody. But notice the hills south of Syracuse and then through the Finger Lakes. That's where we think the southeast wind will really enhance the wind, and those folks may see gusts up over 50 miles per hour. Now, the second phase of the story is what happens tonight. Steady rain and wind today, then a potential line of thunderstorms tonight, and that's why most of our area is in a marginal risk for severe weather. What exactly does that mean? That means isolated severe thunderstorms are possible. We're thinking a line of storms will form across our area, and the main threat, since we have so much wind around, would be strong damaging winds with that line as it moves through. Speaking of timing, we're thinking roughly the western part of our area between 8 and 11, Penyan, Bath, Elmira, and then the I-81 corridor roughly around midnight, Syracuse down through Binghamton, and then as it heads east, this line probably weakens after 2 o'clock as it heads over toward Delhi and Monticello. Thing that you can do is monitor conditions. Be sure to check our website for the latest watches, warnings, and advisories along with radar right on weather.gov BGM. I'm meteorologist Eric Hayden with the Weather Service in Binghamton.